Uh, I, I don't want to clean this up though. Well, hey, dude, I made you clean it. Dude. I, I can't tell you what I'm gonna do because. What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to be a millionaire in a tool business. Really? Okay. Today's the day. Today's I the. You were broke. I'm, well, no, listen, let me finish my story. Everybody always says, Nick, how do I become a tool dealer? And I always tell them, I wouldn't wish this job on my worst enemy. I say it all the time. And then they say, but Nick, you look like you're having so much fun. And I'm like, hey guys, I've been doing this for 35 years. Yeah, at this point, I, I got the business a little, little figured out. But here's the problem in the tool business. You ready? This is what, this is what nobody understands. They think it's all sunshine and rainbows. Fill a truck up with tools, go to work, print money. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Well, let me let you know a little secret. It doesn't work like that, okay? Nick, quick yeah. question. I have put some tools here, okay? And I see your ass is like puckered a little bit because you think I'm gonna ask all the prices, right? But I'm not gonna. Just your general idea. How much do you think this is worth? Shoot from the hip top of your head. Nothing crazy wouldn't hold you to it. Oh, that's $1,000. Then that's not enough. Let me hang on, I gotta fill it back up. Give me two seconds. Hang on, Nick. Don't move. I need more tools. All right. How much now? Am I at 2,000 yet? Uh, probably. 2,000, so okay, so now this represents what I need to go out and sell every day to make a living in this highly competitive market that's flooded with tool dealers, wannabe tool dealers, Amazon, and corporate, Corporate, I can't say the word, corporate people like Home Depots and Targets and stuff like that. Okay, now watch this. What's over here, Nick? A garbage can. Garbage can, right? A broken one. Oh, hang on. It came with, it came with the thing. Well, watch this. This is where I throw all the tools in the trash. Okay? This is going to represent the average day in the tool truck. Okay? And I got a point, and I'll get to it. Okay? I'm not done yet. Vessel screwdriver, beautiful. In the trash. Gear wrench, in the trash. Now you're probably saying, what is he doing? Has he lost his fing mind throwing these tools in the garbage? Yes, I've lost my mind. Oh, wait, hang on. They all want their free stuff. So let me get some free t shirts in the trash, too. Okay? And some rags that we had custom made. We'll throw them in the trash. Okay, so we got about two grand in a trash can. And that represents all the tools we sold that day, hoping that we're going to get paid for them. That's the key. Now, there's a good chance that we'll never see these guys again. Roll into a shop, Johnny, Johnny Tightwad comes out. Hey Nick, how you doing? Just moved into town. Just started the job. I need everything. I had the biggest toolbox in the world. Somebody stole it. My ex-wife sold it. My last shop burnt down. I've heard every excuse in the book through the years of being a tool dealer. And let me tell you something about being a tool dealer. And if you're a tool dealer watching this, okay, we develop, is there a five cents or six senses? Five. There's five senses. So well, the, the movie Six Sense. Well, that's why. Sense. I, I wrote it down, fifth or sixth. I couldn't remember which one it was, but listen to me. So a tool dealer doesn't have five senses. He's got six senses. Whoa. Okay? Any tool dealer that's watching this, a successful one, not some piece of dog shit that lasted two years without a business before to get to them guys in a second. But those guys, this, this guys that have been in the business for six years, like the Matt Sledges, like the Nick Morells, like the Richie Springers, like uh, the Pete Andalinos. Yeah, I said your name, Pete. I know you hate me, but I said it anyway. Al Dumar. These are solid. These are the top snap-on dealers in the country in my area. And I compete against them guys. And you know what? They respect me, okay? And would I rather compete? Somebody, see, now people are like, I would want to go to a, a, an area where the snap-on Mac or Mac dealers sucked. Let me let you know a secret. That's where you're wrong. You want to go to a strong area with strong dealers so you can compete on an even playing field. Because if you have a bad dealer, all that bad dealer is doing is teaching the customers how to be bad customers. And you don't want that. Right? I, I want good that. customers that pay their bills. Right? Yeah. So tool dealers have a sixth sense. We can walk into a room, breathe like that, and I can smell a deadbeat a mile away. I can spot a deadbeat in a crowd of 100 people like that. You may think I'm crazy, but you know what? It's the truth. I could. You walk on my truck within three seconds, good, bad, I could tell. And it's the truth. And if you think I'm crazy, well, I am, but as a tool dealer, 
tool dealer to tool dealer, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so Nick, I still want to be a tool dealer. What do I got to do to make a million dollars? Everybody wants to know. Well, it's very easy. You got to buy a tool truck. Okay, which tool truck was Nick? Do you know? You're, I, I mean, I'm saying minimum 100 grand. A oh, 100 grand for a tool truck? What? Give me two. A new truck? Oh. My, new, my truck new is $168,000 for a tool truck. Okay? That's, that's what it is. I bought it used. I paid a little less, about 100 grand. But it's 168 for a new tool truck. Now you got to fill that truck. How much you got to put in inventory, Nick? $100,000. 100 grand easy. So now you're in, in this business for $250,000. Now listen, you want to be a Snap-on dealer, Mac dealer, Maco dealer. Which other one? Cornhole. Cornhole. You know, they will sign you up in a minute, but you're signing your life away. And I, I don't like that term a lot, but I'm using it because you're going to be spending over $250,000, $300,000 to be a dealer. Okay? Now, you got a good chance of losing that money. Like buying Dogecoin. Right? That's yeah. relevant. Yeah. Took a little hit. Took a little hit yesterday, right? <laughs> it took a big hit. AMC's up, though. <laughs> Bitcoin's down. Big, Bitcoin's, Bitcoin came down. Listen, I... Listen, don't follow my stock tips. I'm a great tool dealer. I'm a horrible stock guy. Don't follow me for stock advice. That's true. No, I'm horrible. I, I sell I sell high and buy low. I, I, hang on. I, I buy high and sell low. Right? Yeah, that's, that's not how it works, but hey, whatever. That's not how it works, but that's how it works for Nick. So anyway, listen, back to the tool truck. I still want to be a tool dealer, Nick. You make it look so easy. You're having fun. Guys, it's not easy. After 35 years, the garbage man makes it look easy, too. Cause it's it's just repetitive action, you know. It's just it you just become you know immune to it. Okay, so now me, I've been up since five o'clock in the morning, right? I get up five o'clock in the morning, start answering all my questions. Okay, come to work. Well, hang on, I can't, I can't I go visit my mom. Come to work. I had to unload two pallets already, right? Two pallets. Two pallets. Big heavy pallets. Pa Heavy pallets. It's all jacks and. Oh cameras. my god, bro! Two pallets. Unloaded two pallets. Broke it down. Put it in the storeroom. Cleaned up the shop again for the second time and made a video. And after this, my tool truck is warming up outside, driving to Newark to make money in Newark. Right? Yeah. It's a full day. Full day. And I posted a really good deal. And you guys really need to get onto my Facebook apps, websites, because we're posting one-day deals all the time. And by the time I tell you, the deal's going to be done, unfortunately. But there's nothing. I, there, I don't have a time machine. Can I have a time machine? Can you build no. me a time machine? No, that's that's above my pay grade. Can you get me a DeLorean? I can go back and post these deals. Anything like that? I don't think that's how, I don't think that works. All right, guys, I'm almost done. Okay, I'm almost done. All I'm gonna say now is like, I told you, I promised that I was gonna tell you how to make a million dollars in the tool business, and here it comes, ready? Well, first, like, comment, subscribe, because I wanna get more viewers and I wanna get my channel built up, because I'm trying to make some money, because I wanna buy something really stupid with the money that YouTube is supposed to pay me. So Nick, ask me, go ahead. What's that? How to make a million dollars? Go ahead. How am I gonna? How can I make a million dollars in the tool business? Start with two. <laughs> Start with two. Right? That's the only way to do it. Let me tell you something. When I first started in the tool business, I thought it was gonna be like shooting fish in a barrel. I came home one day. I had a pocket full. I was 19 years old. I had a pocket full of money. I was like, oh my god. I got a help. I forget. It was like over a thousand dollars in my pocket. This is when I was 19 in 1985. 1985, thousand dollars is a lot of money. If you collect a thousand dollars today in tool business, because you're you're not going to make it. But back then, I collected a thousand dollars, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is I'm going to be a millionaire. It's never going to end. Well, guess what? Selling tools for one year is the easiest job in the world. Selling tools for two years, you feel great. You're doing good. Three years hits, it's the wall. And if you're a dealer, you know all about it. And we're going to cover that in future videos. But like I said, this is not an easy job. It's a hard job. I may make it look easy because I've been doing it a long time. And, uh, you know, and listen, we're just here to have a little fun. And if you want to be a tool dealer, I really suggest you follow my, my series I'm going to do with this before you do it. Because trust me when I tell you there's easier ways to make money. Selling lemonade on the corner may be more profitable. Just saying. All right? I'm going to go to work now, but guys, have a nice day, and I'm trying to remain positive. I'm going to be a positive, I want to be a positive influence on people's lives. That's not asking too much, is it? No. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be like, Nick's a good guy, he's a positive guy. No more negativity, positive Nick. I'm going to stop slapping the table next video, too, I promise. Later. Guy, I'm not going <laughs> to. All right, guys, like we always say right here, come for the price, stay for the show. Peace!
All right, guys, this is how we do it. We packaged up all the socket sets in these bags, and while we were doing doing it, we randomly put in coupons. So now we're gonna pull the the uh, tags off there, fill these all out on the table, so they're all mixed up, and then randomly put the tags on. So we don't know if there's a coupon in here or not. So it's all random, 100. It's all about having fun and get. And listen, there's a lot of them crazy raffle waffle pages on Facebook where you buy nothing. We're giving you a socket set. So we, we give, we're giving you a fair value and a chance to win something big. Right? Yeah. Look, like you always say, come for the price, save for the giveaways. Whoa. Like that, like that. Right?